Hi, this is Stephen from Mona Disso. By now, I am sure you have read and watched loads of reviews on the new 12th gen Intel CPU and the new RTX uh, laptops. There was no denying that Intel's Alder Lake is a clear winner. But much depends on pricing, because I don't think AMD 6000 series will be all that bad. Now, a leak showing the 6-core 12-thread 6600H in Geekbench 5 sees it getting a multi-thread score of 8,054 points compared to 8,367 for the i5-12500H, which has four more threads. Now, that is only a 4% improvement. Now, the single core sees the i5-12500H uh, being 9% faster, and it's this that would make the Intel chip more compelling for gaming. But for gamers on more of a budget, I do think the 6600H will be a great choice. But for gamers, the main question is, which GPU should we get? Now we're still going to get the same GPUs as last year, plus options for the 3070 Ti and 3080 Ti. Now, all of the reviewers were given the MSI GE76 to test with an i9-12900HK and a 175W 3080 Ti. A quick look at Gentech PC to see how the pricing stacks up. The 12700H version with the 3080 Ti goes for $3,600. The previous Gen i9 with a 3080 goes for $3,400 and the RTX 3070 Ti model for $3,000. Now over at Best Buy, the 3070 model goes for $2,600. For sure, these prices are not cheap and I'm sure you can find RTX 3080 laptops much cheaper. But this at least does provide a platform from which to decide if the performance gains do represent value for money. So... For the 3080 Ti, the price increase is 6% over the 3080, and the 3070 Ti is 15% more expensive than the 3070 model. Thus, we need performance that at least matches or exceeds these to make them of value. So, let's take a look. I averaged out the results from Tech Testers, Dave2D, Anantech, Notebook and Jared's Tech, so we can see what's going on. And I will leave a link to their videos or articles in the description below. Now, Tech Testers was the only one testing an RTX 3070 Ti using the ASUS ROG Strix SCAR 15. They tested several games and laptops, but one has to be careful and make sure you only look at results using the dedicated GPU, and also bear in mind slow RAM possibilities in the Ryzen machines. So having the 130W RTX 3070 as a base score of 100, the 125W 3070 Ti is 16% faster and the 150W RTX 3080 is a further 2.5% faster. This 16% performance boost matches the 15% increase in price between the 3070 Ti and the 3070, so that does make sense to me. Now moving on to the RTX 3080 Ti, I showed a resolution on the left, 1080p, 1440p and 4K. The yellow, red and blue bars represent the percentage improvement of the 3080 Ti over the 3080 or the 3070, with the score of 100 being the baseline. For example, Notebook Check across all three resolutions had the 3080 Ti being 26% 20, faster than the 3070 and 20% faster than the 3080. Now it must be pointed out that they didn't have the MSI G76 um, with the RTX 3080 to compare against the 3080 Ti. They had the Alienware um, X17 and the Neo17, which probably perform a little bit slower than the GE76 would. Anantech tested two resolutions, and this time the RTX 3080 Ti GE76 was only about 5% faster than the 3080 GE76. And this is similar to what Jared's tech saw as well at 1080p. You will notice that I also put the figure 108 in, red, in the red bar. Now that represents other 3080 uh, laptops that he had tested, such as the Legion 7 I believe. So depending on what laptop you are comparing, this can make a huge difference. And Matthew Moniz actually showed this beautifully. He tested the new Razer Blade 15 and the Razer Blade 17 with a 3080 Ti and compared them against the GE76 with the 175W 3080 Ti. The Razer Blade 17's 3080 Ti uses 10 watts less at a max of 165 watts. And this translates into about a 14% performance hit. And that model costs a crazy $4,400 after tax. Dave2D had the 3080 Ti being 20% faster than the 3080, and Digital Trends had it at 10%. Interestingly, Digital, Digital Trends showed that the GE76 with the 3080 Ti was comparable to a desktop RTX 3070, which is quite amazing, really. And as for resolutions, 
there actually doesn't appear to be much difference in percentage improvement at 4K compared to 1080p. And this suggests to me that the 12th gen Intel chip is fast enough to feed the 3080 Ti even at 1080p. In the center of my slide, I sum up the differences. The RTX 3080 Ti is 11% faster than the RTX 3080 and is 6% more expensive. So on this basis, it is good value. But one must pay attention because as I showed, not all 3080 Ti's are equal and some are even more expensive. So do your own analysis before you buy. The RTX 3080 Ti is 12% faster than the RTX 3070 Ti, but the difference in price was 20%. So I would definitely look to pay less than the $3,000 that is being asked for that model. Perhaps something like the MSI GP76 Vector with a 3070 Ti at 2,800 might make sense. Or if you drop down to the 12700H, where it's $2,549 over at an exotic PC. Now, I have the 2022 Aura 17 coming in as a review unit. I think it has the 3080 Ti, and I will do an unboxing and a live stream on that. And I have also bought the Alienware X17 R2 and Razer Blade 17, both with the 3080 Ti. Now, I am thinking about returning the Razer Blade 17, as Matthew Moniz has covered it, but if you want to see my take on it, you know, let me know in the comments below. Legion said that they would be sending me something in April, and Acer is coming back to me shortly. So what laptop are you looking forward to this year? Let me know in the comments below, and I'd like to thank you for watching. See you. Bye.